Hello, um, so I'm sure as many of you know, there has been quite a bit of a development regarding the lawsuit with Friday the 13th. Um, I'm going to try and keep this short, but, you know, no promises, as much as I said in the previous video. Uh, I did go on a bit longer than I thought, but um, really all this is, is, you know, when... When I came about of the news that Horror Inc. has um, like appealed their lawsuit, or you know, and um, we're gonna try and work on a deal, it then came to be that last week they now have two weeks to make a deal with Victor Miller. Now it's one week, and um, Larry Zerner, who you know, is a lawyer now and was part of the Friday the 13th franchise in part. Three, uh, Shelley. He even says that um, if they decided to continue doing the lawsuit after their appeal is done and they have to make the decision of continuing the lawsuit or strike a deal, and then well, otherwise they'll have to basically do it all over again. And you know, uh, that would take. Another two or three years, and honestly, nobody wants that. Um, they don't want that. The fans don't want that. Nobody wants it. Uh, people want the films made. There have been various interviews with Victor Miller I've seen, and comments from him. Basically, he just wants his fair share. Because quite honestly, as I've said before, you know, the script is the cheapest part of the entire film. Now, there are people who get paid quite a lot of money, you know, um, uh, depending on what the film is, you know, could be millions. Meanwhile, the director or the writer might get, I don't know, thousands of dollars. So that's just today, back then, you know, it was thousands of dollars, but some thousands of dollars, and um, obviously uh, with the success of Friday the 13th, then the franchise, it, Victor Miller really doesn't get anything. The only amount he's ever commented on of what he's received is residuals every time there's been a film made with Jason, you know, when they say characters created by Victor Miller. They have to give him money because he wrote the script of the original film. And uh, those characters that he created are in these movies, in the setting of Camp Crystal Lake, which is often in the films. You know, it's often featured. So as a result, they have to pay him, even just for, even in the insertion, insertion of his name of the characters, you know, it's his... He, he wrote the original script, so he has to get some sort of compensation. But that's really it. He's never really gotten residuals, honestly, because of it. You know, he's yeah, he gets paid, but after one, he's been paid eleven more times due to the sequels and the reboot. Um, I don't believe he's really gotten anything for the game. Um, but yeah, I can't uh, say regarding that. Um, but yeah, he just wants his fair share, and he's doing what the copyright uh, entails him to do. Uh, you know, like after. 35 years, you're able to um, try and get your uh, you get the copyright in your name for that, so you then he retains it. But there's all those sequels and stuff, so a deal will be made usually to continue the series, and so it's still Friday the 13th. Killer still named Jason. If you want to do a remake or something. One still named 
Mrs. Voorhees or Pamela Voorhees or whatever. Um, and Crystal Lake and all that stuff. You can still use all that. Um, and he just wants all this settled. And um, Larry Zero said because of the fact that he didn't win in the initial um, uh, lawsuit, you know, Sean Cunningham did not win. You know, Victor Miller won. Uh, because he won, Sean Cunningham and Horror Inc. Uh, uh, it's very unlikely they will win this appeal. Even after all this is said and done by next week, any more developments happen, it's very unlikely he will, you know, he would win. But they would win against Victor Miller. So they ha and it seems as if he knows that. In situations like this, it's very rare that those who lose on something like this and they appeal it, they're able to provide better reasoning than whatever happened before as to why they should get whatever it is they're they're wanting. It's very rare that those that appeal it will then win it, and then they will basically everything they wanted they received. So it's very unlikely, and um, it's not, it the all the stuff that. Victor Miller had to present regarding him. It's just, you know, there's a lot more things with Victor Miller that was able to be provided and put forward to give the ruling in his favor. And um, it, it's... It's one of those things that it's like just he he did he doesn't miss you know he didn't you know Sean Cunningham didn't need to um, do this lawsuit at all. All he needed to do was talk to Victor Miller, make some sort of deal, so he gets fair share and compensation and all of that after essentially being a part of the creation of this huge popular franchise that people love and um, <sighs> excuse me and you know that'll be it just just come together talk whatever needs to be discussed and then a deal is made and there you go everybody is happy Friday the 13th can continue going on. And all Victor Miller will get is the uh, rights to the original film. And we'll be able to get receive um, royalties, essentially, um, and other stuff. Um, but, yeah, uh, it's one of those things that's, you know, it's a legal thing. It's, it's, if you're not into the law or that interested or anything like that it's it's quite um, quite of a lengthy uh, thing to discuss obviously I um, don't you know um, you know I don't know what else to really say um, I've um, I've talked about this in other videos, perhaps you've seen them, perhaps not, but I've discussed this many times already, and uh, honestly, outside of what I've just said, there's nothing more I can really say. Some of that stuff I've repeated already in this video of the past, but honestly, yeah, um, writers do often get screwed, unless you're a director, a writer-director, who will then get, essentially be able to get a deal to where you benefit financially if the film does well and you get money out of it. Unless you're a big name writer, it's very unlikely for you to ever get such a thing. Uh, 
yeah. I hope by next week um, a deal will be able to be made and um, have more information as to what will happen from there. Um, so yeah, that's really it. Um, I hope you enjoyed these two videos I've uh, made for uh, today. Um, yeah. Um, I wanted to do this uh, last week, but, you know, I wanted to talk about uh, Green Book and all. But at the same time, I'm actually glad, so that way I didn't have to make another video the very follow the following week. You know, I don't want to just keep cranking out stuff of the same subject over and over. Um, it's one reason I've kind of stopped talking about Star Wars. It just gets repetitive after a while. It's like, what's the point? So yeah, um, any new developments, like a deal is made or whatever, I will um, come back and um, talk to you about it. Um, and yeah, that said, uh, oh, sorry for the um, yawn, but but anyway, um, I uh, yeah, hope you all have a good day. Hope you. Uh, have a good week, and uh, yeah, I'll see you all um, next time. And hopefully, again, if more news of this, more positive news, hopefully, comes of this uh, particular subject, uh, I will um, talk about it more. So, uh, yeah. Till next time, see you later.